I think you asked a very important question about the investment opportunity in Africa. And as we know, um, Africa, the continent of Africa today, is the most uh, resourced continent in terms of natural resources, in terms of human capital, even in terms of land. We have a, uh, not less than 40% of the world's remaining mineral resources are in Africa. And most of those minerals are what we call the transition minerals, which are very important for, um, for energy transitions. For example, platinum, cobalt, coltan, manganese, copper, gold in abundance in Africa. So Africa definitely have these as opportunities that are looking for further development. The good thing about Africa today is that it's not like the Africa of the past. Most of the African countries are saying we are looking for sustainable partners. I mean partners who enable us mine um, in a safe way that does not um, add further to the climate crisis that we have and therefore low emission um, development. Um, and so we're also looking at the transitions on the continent that will enable us grow. So even if we have to mine these minerals, we are going to look for partnerships that will enable us have new technically better ways of mining that it does not increase um, climate um, impact, I mean the impact on climate change um, further. But without a doubt, today the African continent it's probably the most important investment destination globally. What people consider as a problem in Africa is a solution for the world. Africa has the transition minerals, it has the young people, um, it's, it's a population of 1.4 billion is comparable to that of China and India. Uh, it has not less than 60% of the remaining arable land left in the world. And in terms of energy, if you look at the um, clean energy, Africa has the biggest potential globally today. Its abundance in sunlight uh, has more than 220 watts per you know, square meter, which is higher than almost everywhere else. And so its, it's it potential is, in a, is without doubt. And that is why almost every developed country wants to have an Africa conference and an Africa presence. But yet still, FDI to Africa is, is about 3% of global FDI. So there is something that is just not adding up. Very often, the word of perceived risk is mentioned. But yet still, the Africa continent returns much more on foreign direct investment than any other region in the world. So it's for us in Africa to ratchet up the conversation, to have a conversation which, which clearly articulates what the facts are. A lot of the continent is in transition and is improving, is reforming to be more open. I think that creates a solution for the world. You know, so that tells you, and yet everybody agrees that Africa is resource rich. So we must have that conversation. Um, and Africa, like I said, in terms of sustainable sustainability, is better prepared than most other places. I mean, if you look at Africa's contribution to global emissions, it's still about 4%, less than 4%. And if you look at some of the, 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 land, the, the land positions in Africa, most of them are very good carbon sinks. So that's why the Africa in itself is a solution for global problems. It has the minerals for energy transition. It has the young people who are in a potential consumer market waiting to happen, but also who have the largest pool of human capital than any other region. Well, I mean, yes. You, I mean, you, you, you obviously ask a very important question. Because there is a, Africa was promised 100 billion to support its climate change agenda, of which very little of it has been disbursed. And truth be told, when you look at climate change, Africa's, like I did say, because of the low emissions from Africa, Africa's contribution to the problem is much, much less than many other developed countries. So I believe for Africa to solve the problem as well, there must be a certain mutually understand, mutual understanding that we need to work together and not look at Africa as, okay, it's so far away that the risks are too high, but yet we have companies in Africa who are doing brisk and good business. So that perception, first of all, needs to be worked with. We need to remove that perception. The continent is ready and my, Ghana, my country, Ghana, which we claim to be in the center of the world, is ready to lead that African economic and financial renaissance. Well, currently, I, I probably would say that I, if my figures may be a bit wrong, but I think that Africa has less than 10% renewable energy. But the potential is massive because of the, um, the solar radiation. I mean, sun's power in Africa is much more than many other places. So that transition itself means that there's a great opportunity for investment.
on the continent in solar and wind and many others. And many countries are actually incorporating that in their own development plans.